Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what are the different versions of Selenium and the additional features in latest versions? Let me answer. Till now, Selenium has been released into the market till fourth version, okay? The current version or the latest version of Selenium we have in the market when I'm recording this session uh, during this date, that is 25th, uh, uh, May 2023 is Selenium 4, okay? In the coming days, Selenium 5, Selenium 6 also may get released in the market, okay? But for now, when I'm recording this session, Selenium 4 is the latest version. The first version of Selenium that got released long back in the beginning of the Selenium days is Selenium 1 version. After that, Selenium 2 got released, then Selenium 3 got released, and Selenium 4 got released, okay? So what is Selenium 1 then, okay? At the time when Selenium, first version of Selenium is released, right? Selenium 1 is nothing but a combination of the older version of Selenium ID plus selenium rc plus selenium grid okay so id used to work only in the firefox browser okay the olden days uh, in the previous versions of selenium right uh, selenium id used to work only in firefox browser only okay this was the original support of selenium id in other browsers it's not supported whatever the scripts you create using selenium id record and playback tool used to run only on the firefox browser or you can install this selenium id extension or as an add-on in the Firefox browser only. It's not supported by other browsers, okay? That was the older version of Selenium. And we used to have the Selenium RC. So at this time of Selenium 1 version, right? Selenium web driver was not there, okay? Whatever the main major component or main component of Selenium is nowadays being used in the market, right? That component was not there at that time. Selenium RC used to be there in, in place of the Selenium web driver, okay? So, and uh, Selenium grid uh, to distribute the, okay, older version of the Selenium grid, you can say, a hub by node machine kind of configuration where you can distribute your automation scripts across multiple machines to run okay in the network so this is the selenium one selenium one is nothing but is equal to selenium id plus selenium rc and selenium grid older selenium id older selenium grid plus selenium rc this is also deprecated now selenium rc uh, at this period of time when i'm recording this session is already deprecated outdated it's no one is using nowadays okay we cannot even use it actually okay so selenium 2 Next version of Selenium that got released in the market is Selenium 2, which is nothing but Selenium 1. 1 means this one, Selenium ID, RC and grid. Plus one more thing came, fourth component came, okay? During Selenium 2 days, there were four components in Selenium, okay? In Selenium 1, only three components used to be there. There is Selenium ID, Selenium RC and Selenium grid. But in Selenium 2, we have how many components? Three components of Selenium 1. Selenium 1 means all these three components plus additional component is Selenium web driver, okay? So around 2006 or something, I guess, it came into the market. And uh, at that time, Selenium RC and Selenium Web Driver used to coexist, okay? Uh, people used to use some, some commands from Selenium RC and some commands from Selenium Web Driver like that, okay? They, they, they are free to use it, okay? A lot of people used to tend to Selenium Web Driver, but if in case they need some commands from Selenium RC, here the possibility used to be there, okay? Selenium 1 plus Selenium Web Driver means Selenium ID plus Selenium RC plus Selenium Grid plus what? plus uh, Selenium web driver, like this, okay? Web driver, that is nothing but Selenium 1 plus Selenium web driver, okay? New component that came is web driver, okay? Remaining all are same. Older version of Selenium ID, which used to work only in the Firefox browser and uh, older older uh, type of Selenium grid and uh, deprecated Selenium RC plus Selenium web driver, okay? These four components used to be there. Selenium web driver got support from browser windows, okay? So what the change in this uh, introduction of Selenium web driver is, okay? Selenium RC, used to inject, okay, used to trick the browsers by injecting some JavaScript code, okay? It's not the proper way of doing that, okay? It's not the proper way of doing that because if some JavaScript need to run on an application, right, that JavaScript should be part of, uh, should be at the same machine where the application developed code is available, okay? Whatever the application you are testing, right, that application developed code should be in the same machine where the JavaScript code that you want to run on the application is there, okay? JavaScript code and this application code are on the same machine, then it's okay. But if you're trying to inject the JavaScript code from outside the machine where the you know application code is developed, then in that case, the third party JavaScript code will not be accepted. Okay, it will be rejected by the applications. Okay, so they will uh, the external JavaScript code is not going to run. This is called a same origin policy. Okay, this is called a same origin policy where the JavaScript code that you want to run and the application developed code should be part of the same machine, then only the JavaScript code is going to run on the application code. Well, if you want to run this JavaScript code on the browsers or something on the browser applications uh, from external sources, that's not going to work out. But still, 
Selenium RC was able to trick the application server where application code is available uh, in be uh, believing that this JavaScript code which is coming externally is part of the same machine itself. Okay, that was tricky thing. That's Selenium RC. It's not ethical, right? That's where Selenium WebDriver came into the market where, you know, uh, it's not no more required you to trick the browsers in believing that uh, the Java uh, JavaScript code is coming, uh, you know, uh, is coming from the same machine and all. See, instead, Selenium WebDriver has, uh, you know, got some support from the browser windows, okay? Browser windows. So how it got, uh, how Selenium WebDriver got support from the browser windows? The simple answer is native drivers, guys, okay? So Selenium, Selenium developers have started developing some drivers. You see, uh, if a Chinese, a Chinese and Indian or Japanese and, uh, uh, you know, Korean people, they have to communicate with each other, they cannot understand each other's language, right? They need a mediator kind of person, okay? Who can interpret the things and pass it to the other person. Similarly, drivers are also something like that, which will help the, okay? Selenium is kind of something and browser's application is something. Now, Selenium is going, via a proper official means, is going to communicate with the application server's code, okay? Application code. That is possible with the help of this driver. That drivers were developed by Selenium team, okay? For each and every browser, for Chrome browser, Chrome driver got developed, okay? You see, you can see here, for Chrome browser, Chrome driver. For Firefox browser, Firefox driver. For Internet Explorer driver, Internet Explorer driver. For Safari browser, Safari driver. Opera browser, Opera driver. Like that, for each and every browser, Selenium guys or Selenium team or Selenium developers have developed these drivers. So earlier, for Selenium RC, for Selenium RC to communicate with the application code, there used to be a proxy server. Okay. We used, we used to launch this uh, proxy server in the command prompt. After the proxy server is running, then only the Selenium RC used to communicate with the application server in a way of tricking it by injecting some JavaScript code. It's used to trick, but it's not an ethical way. Now Selenium WebDriver came where in Selenium 2 also Selenium RC is there still. Here also in Selenium 2, we were able to use Selenium RC still by, you know, proxy server is required for Selenium RC and all those stuff. But in addition, we also have the Selenium WebDriver, which doesn't require this uh, proxy server, okay? Selenium WebDriver doesn't require, Selenium WebDriver doesn't require any proxy server to run the Selenium code on the application and all, okay? On the browsers and all, no proxy server is required, okay? Uh, Selenium RC will require, but Selenium WebDriver doesn't require. This new component doesn't require any proxy server. So how the Selenium WebDriver is going to communicate with the browsers having this application loaded with the help of drivers, okay? Selenium WebDriver communicates with different browsers using respective, respective drivers, okay? Respective drivers. What are the drivers for Firefox browser? There's some driver exe file kind of stuff is there. Firefox driver.exe, Chrome driver.exe. Okay. So this thing, uh, there is some using some Java code. We can, uh, we can, you know, set the property and all those stuff. And then once you set the property, Selenium web driver can directly communicate with the browsers. No need of clicking the browser anymore with the JavaScript code and all. Okay. Here, who has developed these drivers? Selenium team has developed and uh, with the help of, uh, you know, with the uh, support from the different browser companies, for example, who is behind the Firefox Mozilla company, Chrome, Google company, Internet Explorer, Microsoft company, Safari, Apple company, Opera, Opera company, like that. Different companies used to give permissions to Selenium to create these drivers. Once these drivers are approved, Selenium was able to use these drivers natively to communicate with the browsers without any need of injecting the JavaScript code in an official or tricky manner like Selenium RC used to do. Hope you got the idea. Now, what then Selenium 3 got released. Where you see uh, in the Selenium 2, Selenium RC and Selenium WebDriver coexisted. They used to be two uh, together. Okay. Selenium RC and Selenium WebDriver used to be together. But in Selenium 3, uh, they have removed the Selenium RC completely. Okay. So in, uh, you see, if Selenium RC is removed, there is no need of uh, running the proxy server uh, to run the automation scripts, right? Proxy server is not required. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, Mediator kind of server is not required because be between the Selenium and uh, application server and all proxy server is not required anymore. So Selenium RC is removed completely. So there is no need of proxy server or no need to launch any proxy server to run the automation scripts. But, uh, but there are some commands in Selenium RC, which people were using. So then how to overcome that problem? What they have done is to remove the Selenium RC, the equivalent uh, APIs they have created for Selenium web driver itself. Okay. So simply instead of using Selenium RC plus Selenium web driver, whatever the, uh, uh, whatever the, some commands are there in Selenium RC, which are not there in Selenium web driver, right? These commands were implemented in Selenium web driver itself. Okay. API of Selenium 
uh, web driver got increased with the features of selenium rc and selenium rc is now removed okay web driver implementation is there okay uh, whatever the functionalities which are not there in web driver those got implemented in web driver and rc got removed completely okay so there is no need of depending on selenium rc it got kicked out like anything okay now selenium web driver if i'm selenium 3 guys selenium 2 minus selenium rc plus that to remove this rc they have created the web driver api for rc okay apart from web drivers api they have created web driver api for rc okay that means selenium 2 will have what selenium 2 will have older version of selenium id older version of selenium id plus then uh, it had selenium web driver plus selenium grid the selenium web driver has the apis of selenium web driver plus the backed web driver apis for us rc okay to remove the rc they have created some you know libraries for uh, to migrate this rc commands to the web driver uh, api commands they have created some apis okay so selenium web driver apis new apis plus to remove the rc they have created some backup apis both are part of the latest version of selenium okay in selenium 3 so one more important change apart from removing the rc from the selenium 3 and all right one more change happened where you know browser vendors started developing their own drivers okay selenium you uh, selenium earlier in selenium 2 right selenium team used to create the drivers okay because browsers uh, browser uh, different browser companies were not coming forward okay but somehow selenium guys have contacted the brow uh, different browser companies and uh, you know they said that we will be creating the drivers for you you can still use it okay after the selenium got popular right then browser vendors themselves felt like okay let's create our own drivers and uh, give it to selenium because selenium is kind of popular in the market who who want to lose uh, traffic and all right so browser vendors uh, developing drivers okay so so geeko driver earlier firefox driver was uh, there was firefox driver but in selenium 3 it was no more firefox driver the name is geeko driver who has named this uh, uh, driver firefox driver to geeko driver mozilla company okay the company behind the firefox browser is mozilla company has named it as geeko driver okay whereas uh, google company has named it as chrome driver it kept it like this who has developed the chrome driver google company is developing the chrome driver earlier selenium team used to develop earlier firefox earlier firefox driver was developed by Fire, uh, mozilla Com i mean sorry selenium team now geeko driver which is uh, renamed firefox got uh, renamed to geeko driver is now being developed by which company by mozilla company chrome driver is being developed by google company internet explorer driver is being developed by which company microsoft company then safari driver is uh, developed by apple company opera driver opera company edge driver microsoft company like that the, uh, the different uh, browser companies have come forward to develop the drivers earlier selenium team used to develop now the com browser companies themselves are developing the selenium these are the two major changes selenium rc got kicked out in selenium 3 and other change uh, that happened is browser drivers uh, for selenium automation were developed by the browser companies itself okay that is a good change then selenium 4 got released into the market in selenium, selenium 4 right uh, you know in selenium 4 selenium id tng the next generation this is a, till now old version of selenium id was there which was only supported by this firefox browser okay it was only supported by firefox browser now selenium id tng means the next generation id came apply tools have taken the responsibility of developing it because selenium guys are busy with creating this major component of selenium or main component of, of selenium that is selenium web driver so they have given this uh, product or component to be taken care by apply tools apply tools have created this uh, you know made it advanced selenium id tng the next generation okay the the older version of selenium id is different and latest version of this is the latest version of selenium id which is there in selenium 4 and w3c standardized web driver okay other thing is w3c standardized web driver. till now good good uh, web driver is there web driver apis were there and that which doesn't need any proxy server to run but here what happened in selenium 4 is uh the web driver current web driver itself got w3c standardized okay so World Wide web consortium okay they follow some uh, standards what will happen if you follow the standards you see the ecosystem of the selenium will increase a lot of products will keep using selenium web driver because it's now standard okay if you are following some standard means everyone will use it okay a lot of people uh, will come and use it even browsers uh, browser companies will come forward and different tools will come forward in using the selenium web driver selenium is like an ecosystem okay it's not just a tool but but it's an ecosystem based on which a lot of other tools got created or other things are depending on okay so w3c standardization is a very good move by selenium guys so where you know the because of the standards right uh, its ecosystem will increase okay whatever the number of uh, companies or tools surrounded by this tool okay a lot of other companies will fall into the same bucket okay 
by following some standards. Now, new Selenium Grid, and not only the older, uh, I mean, uh, not only the latest version of Selenium ID, but also Grid also got with latest version, latest Selenium Grid, where earlier only one mode used to be there in the Selenium Grid, but now multiple modes are there, okay? So Habai node mode, mode was a uh, older mode, okay? Classic mode, that is Habai node mode, okay? Habai node machines used to be there. Now, uh, you can uh, launch the hub in different ways, okay? You can launch the hub and uh, node in the standalone mode. The same machine, if you want to launch hub and mode, they have come up with a Selenium guys have come up with a new Selenium grid mode that is called as a standard mode, standalone mode. In standalone mode, right? In the same machine, same machine will become the hub, same machine will become the node, okay? So Selenium grid changes are there. And uh, uh, the older mode is continued anyhow, that is a uh, hub by node. Uh, uh, hub is one machine and nodes are other machines like that. And there's one more mode where uh, you can uh, customize the hub, launching of hub. Uh, hub can be divided into several components and they can be launched separately like bus, okay? And all those stuff, uh, rotor, bus, a lot of things are there, okay? So those things, those components can be, so that is uh, different modes are there, okay? So different Selenium grid modes are there. There's another change and uh, relative locators, uh, some additional type of locators got introduced in Selenium called as relative locators. Then new documentation, okay? So documentation got improvised. Uh, if you go to the official website of Selenium, right? Selenium.dev, you can see a lot of documentation here. Uh, this All this documentation is newly written, okay? Older documentation got replaced with the latest documentation. New official website. Even this website used to be Selenium, Selenium hq.org. Now, if you run this older website, right? It will take you to the latest website only, okay? Selenium HQ. Dot .org if I search, let's see what is happening. It's still taking you to the latest uh, selenium.dev, okay? The website address got changed, new official website got introduced, uh, which is completely different from the older version of uh, older uh, uh, website, official website of Selenium, okay? Changes in waiting mechanism, some new comments got been introduced in waiting mechanism where you know uh, the way you specify the time, okay? Duration in seconds and all got changed here. And then create new window or new tab, okay? Uh, till now, you are in the pre till Selenium 3, there was no option to, you know, uh, create a new window or new tab, but in Selenium 4, they have given that. You can uh, open a new tab. Multiple windows, multiple applications you can open. Such kind of stuff is coming, uh, already came in Selenium 4. And screenshots. Here, just uh, whatever the active area of the screenshot used to be taken in the previous version, but now in Selenium 4, you can take the screenshot of an element or the entire full page, okay? Such kind of comments also, extra comments were given in Selenium 4 API library where you using which you can take the screenshot of a particular element of, or the entire full page, how, how lengthy it is, doesn't matter, it can take the screenshot. Then we got some additional advanced stuff like by day APS, like uh, where you can go to the dev tools and do a lot of stuff, okay? So you can uh, uh, track the network traffic and all those stuff, okay? So more more power to the Selenium automation is given, is possible with the help of by day APS, where you can even turn on the internet, turn off the internet, such kind of tests also you can do, okay? With the help of by day APS and all, you can turn on the internet, you can make the uh, internet off in your, uh, you know, that particular automation session and uh, test the things, how the application is working when the, when internet is off, okay? How the offline mode of the application is, such kind of things are possible in by day APS, with the help of by day APS, uh, which will make this, uh, which will actually, which actually made Selenium, going to the advanced levels and many more changes. Guys. Okay, these are the major ones I covered. So, uh, W3C standardization is a major one, major change in Selenium 4. Remaining all are, you know, nominal changes, okay? So hope guys you understood what are the different uh, versions of Selenium so far in the market and uh, the additional features that got introduced uh, from version to version, okay? Currently we have Selenium 4, okay? So maybe in coming days uh, or few months, uh, we may get another version, we don't know, okay? Let's wait for the future version. For now, this will be the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.